Hey everybody, POA, back with one of my favorite things to ever open. It one of those few boxes that went up a lot in price in a really quick amount of time, and yet it's still worth cracking. It's nuts. All right, what we got here is we've got a box of Modern Horizons 1, and we are doing a traditional box break. So I've got six people, we got six packs a person, and let's hope that everybody leaves with something awesome. And that's what we are after today. So let's pop open this. And I'm going to take everything out. And a lot of packing materials inside of these. Okay. I'm going to take all 36 packs out. And I'm going to do a little random shuffling. And yeah, that box just kind of flew places. Okay. All right. Okay, not really any true rhyme or reason to this, just all right, there we go. Okay, you know what? So let's divvy him up. So first I got John. Okay, then we got Chris. Pat the Popper. So for those that are not familiar, Pat the Popper, he's got he's also a YouTuber and also contributes in a lot of the different uh, YouTuber conversations. He does a lot with that. Really insightful guy. Love the guy. All right, then we got Stuntman. Just make sure everybody gets their six. And Tim and Chris T. Because I got two Chris's. All right, okay. Let's get started. I guess I'll do two per and kind of just go through. Since we're not really competing necessarily in a traditional sense for a prize. But of course, we are all looking for the mythics. All right, John, here we go. First pack. Not going to go through commons or anything like that, really. But all right, here we go. Yeah, okay, fiery uh, islet. Good start. Good start. That's what we like to see. We like to see Horizon Lands. All right, second pack, John. It's been a while since I've done a six-person break, and I forgot how much space you need. Okay, here we go. Island, and... Whoa, okay, we got a foil rare. We got tectonic reformation. And behind that, plague engineer. Solid rare. And nothing really in the uncommons. All right, so we're just going to do it two packs at a time and go through. Chris, W... Your first pack. And we are going to have, so besides the snow-covered island, the Force of Rage. The Force of Rage. Very, very rage-filled force. Dark side force, really. Anakin Skywalker's force. He was rather rageful. Or emo. I'm not sure which. Here we go. Mountain. You got a cleaving sliver foil. Collected conjuring. Then we have our second pillage, and we are moving on. A lot of packs to do here. All right, Pat the Popper, you are up now. Your first pack. This was actually Pat's idea. Pat's plan, if you will. So let's see how he does. Snow covered swampy. Tornado Foil. And Crashing Footfalls. That is a decent start in itself. Okay. And we have our second rare mythic coming. I hope we do get another foil rare, but usually it's only one per box. I have had a couple boxes of this with two, but that's definitely not. Endling for our second rare. Talisman of Resilience, so finally we get a Really nice uncommon and a generous gift. So your uncommons there were quite nice. Stuntman, your first two packs, your first pack. There we go. Mountain. Silent clearing for our second Horizon Land of the box. Okay. And Talisman of Curiosity. It's always good. And that is it for your first one. Second one for you. And 
Who doesn't love Modern Horizons 1? Having said that, it came up a lot uh, when I was asking about the worst sets of all time. And people were really starting to bag on this set just because of how much it warped the format. Deep Forest Hermit. Okay. Solid card. Which I, I guess I can kind of understand that. All right, Tim, your first pick. But yeah, there was a lot of... I feel like Modern Horizons 1 and 2. Wait, really? But that's the, like the last thing I expected to hear. Literally ever. <laughs> Pretty much almost every other set I expected to hear over Modern Horizons 1 and 2. Future Sight for your first one, Tim. Okay, and we are moving on. Moving on. Next pack. Archmage's Charm. There we go. That's a hit. That's the kind of thing we like to see here. Very nice. Very nice pull. All right. That was your first two, Tim. All right, Chris T. You are up for your first pack. Snow-covered mountain. Hey, the Force of Vigor. Oh, those are back-to-back -back strong packs right there. So we have three forces down so far. The Force of Vigor, which is definitely the biggest hit in this box so far. Silver so Chosen and Urza's Rage. And your second pack, Chris. Here we go. Snow Covered Island. And Marit Lodge Slumber. Scale up. Okay. So one. Of the big forces down. Archmage's charm is down. Let's get back to John over here. And let's do his uh, third and fourth packs. Here we go. Shadow Ninja. Pashalik Mons, the leader of the Goblin Raiders. Okay. Fourth pack. No mythics yet. Let's just keep track of that. No mythics yet. And these boxes, uh, they do bring the mythics sometimes. Here we go. Squirrel Nets foil. That's cool. And a Eula's Influence. I wonder if this card is going to gain popularity because a Bearscape's coming out. That's funny. All right, Chris W., your third and fourths. Once again, no mythics yet. Here we go. Swamp. Meriden besieged. Nothing in the uncommons worth pointing out. Here we go. Snow covered swamp. And if I can get it. Cordial Vampire. Eh, eh, eh. This is, this is a decent card. Okay. So, we are about, what? Are we getting about the halfway point of the box here? All right. So that means all the Mythics are still left. Pat, your third pack. There we go. Bizarre Trade Mage, Scale Up, and a Talisman of Hierarchy. Fourth pack. Come on, Mythics. Officially, this pack, after this pack, we're at the halfway point. Come on, Mythics. we got to find them eventually. Snow-Covered Mountain. And a Eula herself, the Queen Among Bears. For you got to have that bear deck, uh, Legendary. There we go. All right, Stuntman. It's all about the bear meta, speaking of. And so, Stuntman, let's see what you got. We got hey, our first mythic finally. And also a really good one. The Sword of Truth and Justice. There we go. That's a start. We got Talisman of Curiosity. Sweet. And your fourth pack. Snow covered forest and force of freaking negation. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
We pulled both the big forces. This is this is what we're at. Yes, yes. Well, stuntman, uh, congratulations on the pulls. I shuffled the packs. You never know where everything's going to go, and apparently you had been chosen for the force of, neg of negation. The will of the cards, or the heart of the cards, or whatever you want to call it, has gone your way. Congratulations. Okay, Tim, your third pack. And I'm glad the box had a force of negation. And a force of vigor. That's actually pretty sweet. And an uh, Archmage's Charm. So that's a lot of that's a lot of good rares right there. Okay, Giver of Runes, Tim. There's a nice rare. The Throws of Chaos. Firebolt. All right, your fourth pack. What are we missing from the really good rares here? Prismatic, uh, and then what? Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Unsettled Mariner. Solid pull. All right, Chris T, your third pack. Foil? Well, okay, we did get a second foil rare. Sweet. And we got an Unsolved Mariner, which is a solid foil rare to pull. And a Nurturing Peatland. Good pack. And that is our third Horizon Land so far of the video. All right, your fourth pack, and then we're going to be on the final run. And so far, only one Mythic, so in terms of uh, what's coming in those final packs, we've got some heat coming. Swamp. Plainbound Accomplice, which recently spiked. And the Talisman of Creativity. Okay, I'm going to put that Force of Vigor back on top there, and I'm going to put Archmage's Charm back on top there, just because I feel like looking at them. Okay. Last run. John, your last two packs. There's at least three more Mythics among these 12 packs. Maybe four more. We'll see what we got. I've never had an MH1 box with less than four Mythics, and I've opened a lot of these. I hope you like Titanic Reformation, because you got like two of them. Okay, at this point, can we get John a Mythic? Can we, can we do this? Can we get John a Mythic? Let's do this. Snow Covered Swamp. Oh, we got Urza's Rage Foil. And Astral Drift. Oh. Okay, well... We move on. We move on to Chris W. in his last two packs. Come on, Mythics. Come on, Mythics. Snow-covered forest. Hey, Ranger Captain of Eos. What is that thing right now? Around $25? Nice Mythic pool. So that's Mythic number two of the box. And your last pack. We got a forest, cloud shredder sliver, and a backwards scuttling sliver. Well, we got mythic number two decided here. That is good. One second. Yeah, it's definitely the best pull in that lot. Okay. Pat, your final two packs. See how you do, buddy. Here we go. So there's still at least two more Mythics on the table for these final eight packs. Come on. Sorry. Let's make sure cards didn't spill all over the table here. Venomous Changeling. And Genesis. Not the rare we are looking for. That's all right. We got one more pack. All right. Here we go. Snow-covered Swampy. Force of Virtue. So, we got four of the five forces out of the way. Sorry, Pat. Looks like Crash and Footfalls was your biggest pull, but some neat playables. Stuntman. By the way, guys, there's six more packs left, and there's two more Mythics. We're, uh, the sec 
it's always amazing sometimes where like some videos, like everybody in the front half got all the juice and sometimes everybody in the back hat, sometimes everybody in the middle gets it. Like, you shuffle the packs, you never know. It's, you know, then you divvy them out. Fallen Shinobi in the Zombie Ninja. Yeah, I'll unbury that in a second. Okay, last pack, Stuntman. We've got a mountain. Stirring of disappearances. Waterlogged grow for our fourth Horizon Land of the box. We did very well in the Horizon Lands. What are we? What, well, we're, well, we're missing Sunbaked Canyon. Of course, we're missing Sunbaked Canyon. Uh, it has to be the one you're missing, the one that gets the most play. <laughs> oh, well. all right, Tim. So there's four packs left, guys. Four packs left, and we've only pulled two Mythics. Just keeping track of this. Uh, this pack doesn't want to open. Here we go. Okay, Forest and Prismatic Vista, baby. That's what we're talking about. Nice pull. Last pack, Tim. Last pack. Here we go. Okay, we do have a Mythic. <laughs> oh, the third best Mythic pull of the set, Season Pyromancer. Man, that was a back-to-back -back packs right there. Congratulations on that. So, that is three Mythics down. Chris, you've got two more packs left. And in ex not not 100%, but in I, I would almost put like a 99% likelihood that one of these two packs contains a Mythic. Here we go. Snow-Covered Island. Spiteful Sliver, so it wasn't that pack. Is it the final pack? Or is this a three mythic box? Well, the rares showed out, that's for sure. Let's see. Snow Covered Plains. Okay, good. It is a four mythic box. I don't know what it is. Let's find out what it is. Ah, ha, 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 Yaga, Yagmoth. So all four Mythics pulled were just really, really strong Mythic pulls. So we got what? Sword Truth Justice. We got Ranger Captain Eos. We got Season Pyromancer. And then we got Yagmoth Thran Physician. Oh, that is, if you're not going to pull Ren and Six, then pull, what, three, four, five, and six in terms of the best Mythic pulls. And a Talisman of Conviction for the Road. And that is going to be all she wrote there. Wow. All right. Well, as was inevitable, of course, we had some winners and we had some losers. But that is how box breaks do work. So I am thankful that it was a, overall a very good box. I am thankful that a lot of people got some stuff. Um, I do thank everybody for watching and I thank everybody for participating. A big thanks to my patrons for always wanting to do stuff like this. It's a, it's a really good time. Appreciate them letting me uh, rip packs for them. But until the next video, goodbye. Bye.